Christina Grimm placed third on season six of The Voice, and she continued to work with Adam and the show. But last year, she was tragically killed outside of her concert. Okay, well, last night, The Voice announced the Christina Grimmy Foundation, and her family joins us live this morning. Her mom, Tina, her dad, Bud, and her brother, Marcus. Thank you all for joining us Thank today. Thank you for having us. Mom, Time we were talking now. before we rolled that clip, her time on The Voice. What do you remember about her? Tell me back the first time the chairs turned. Oh, <laughs> yes. that was, it was the best time. Uh, we were in the back hoping one chair would be yeah, turned. Just hoping just one, please, just one. And of course, anybody that watches that clip, I'm screaming in the background. <laughs> and her, my husband and her uh, best friend, Lauren, was back mm. there. And it was the best time, the yeah. best. I. I don't, know, I don't know how to explain uh, She has the voice of an angel and no doubt is singing up in heaven. Yes. I believe it. Yeah, mm -hmm. but just, just seeing her and last night they did such a beautiful tribute to her. Adam <sighs> saying, hey Jude, what was that like for you to be there and, and to launch the foundation in her name? Wow, emotional. Yeah, um, very emotional. I felt like it was home again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Going, I have never. I, I say this on TV, I'd say it anywhere. I have never met people like The Voice. Yeah. They treat us like family. Mm -hmm. they, it, it, the, the song was beautiful, the people are beautiful, Adam, yeah. um, the, uh, everything. You're, you just feel like family and truly love. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There truly. wasn't a dry eye in the house last night. Marcus, what do you remember about her connection with Adam? Why was their connection so special? Uh, I think it's, and I was just actually talking uh, to Blair about this yesterday, about just because he was asking, he's pretty like uh, not super familiar with how everything works, and just asking, how do they all get along on the set? Mm -hmm. And I was like, it's not scripted at all. Like the judges from Blake to even from on um, her uh, season with uh, Usher and Shakira, they all genuinely cared about the people that they were there with. Mm -hmm. So I think it seemed elevated with Christina because she finally found a coach or somebody that believed in her, constantly encouraged her, constantly had just a, a whole yeah. other crew of other people. And she saw how he reacted with other people and with herself. And she just came off so like, man, he just loves me. He loves what I do. He's supportive and it's, it showed in and all her performances. And he encouraged her. Right. It's just what she needed to, somebody to say, yeah. you have it. And yes. She ran with it. And every really she validated went, her is, right. a, is an artist as well. And yeah. every place she would have an interview. Wow. The voice is the best place I've ever right. been. Oh, I know he took care of her and oh, your family yes, did. paid for the funeral, which yes. I mean, oh, really how came to you say, in that time of need. How do you say thank you to people like right. that? How do yeah. you do that? They're yeah. beautiful. Well, it's been a parade of people coming alongside of us. Yeah. Amazing. You know, Marcus, really has. I don't want to dwell on what happened on that day, but I, I just keep thinking how that moment must haunt you so much because you were her manager. You're there, you know, protecting her and you took down her shooter. How are you doing in all of this now a year later? Um, you know, not, not always great. I think it's uh, everything that's going on, the legacy that she started, the impact that she started and the legacy that we are continuing. You know, she left a, a huge mark in the world. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's keeping us all afloat is that we have like a quest to go on and keep pushing her music. Now this foundation and it's, you know, it's really helping a lot. Right. What, that's what brought us out of the fog, I think, is when we realized she had all this unreleased music that she'd been working so hard on for almost two years. And she was excited about this new music. So once we realized that was all there, I think he said, we owe it to her. Yeah. To get that out as best we can. And that's a lot of people have come to our aid. 